Alright, so itong question na ito, ito ay multiplying ng mga binomials. No? By binomials, ibig sabihin dalawa kasi ito. So, by means 2. So, anything na, uh, anywhere that starts with bi, usually means dalawa. So, ibig sabihin dalawa yung component dito sa side na ito, dalawa rin dito, and imumultiply mo siya. Once you hit high school kasi, the parentheses changes yung meaning niya. Hindi na lang siya pang group. Pwede na rin siyang multiplication. So, pag set sila side by side like that, na magkatabi, ibig sabihin, imumultiply mo siya. Kung baga, imagine ninyo, ma-imagine natin na X or the multiplication sign dyan sa gitna niyan. Now, ang rules dito is FOIL. Ang ibig sabihin ng FOIL is kung ano yung sequence ng kung ano yung isosolve mo dito. Kasi basically, what you have to do is to multiply everything by everything. So, yung F st stands for uh, first. Okay. So, by first, ang ibig sabihin nun, you will look at kung ano yung first dito, at first din dito. So, yung a at saka 9a, imumultiply mo siya. Now, the answer to that, to that would be 9a squared. Bakit? Kasi you have 9 there, wala naman na ibang number, and then dalawang a. Kung ilan yung letters na nauulit, yun yung numbers sa exponent. So, yung first natin na part is 9a squared. Next, yung o, which means outside. Okay. So, ang outside is yung ano yung nasa labas dito. So, in this case, A, nasa labas kasi siya. And then, negative B, nasa labas din siya. So, ito yung magiging outside natin. So, A times negative B, that would give you negative A, B. Next, yung I, which means inside. Kabalik taran lang ng outside. So, ang inside naman here is positive 2B at saka 9 a. So, itong dalawang ito, imumultiply mo rin siya. Yan yung mga inside. Mga numbers na nasa loob. Kung baga, if you look at it na ganito, yung dalawa yung nasa outermost part, at this yun, ito naman yung sa inside. So, ang gagawin natin dito, yung mga numbers, yung pagsasamahin natin. So, 9 times 2, that is 18. Okay? And then, you have A and B. So, ito, itatabi ko lang siya kasi magkamukha naman sila. Yung A tsaka B, tsaka B A, A B and B A, they are just the same by virtue of the commutative property of multiplication. So, dito ko lang siya ilalagay para lang mas madali ko siya madil kasi nakikita ko na magkapareho sila. You can also put it here sa side, wala naman mo magbabago. Ako lang yun, I prefer it that way. Um, and yun din ang pagkakaturo sa atin sa school. Sa akin kasi mas organized lang kung ganyan para yung next part ng equation, madali ko na siya masasolve. Yung last naman, na letter is L, which means last. Very straightforward naman. Again, if you see, kabalik tarad nito ito, kabalik tarad naman, na, naman nito ito. So, again, you have to cover everything. So, ang last here is 2B and negative B. So, that would give you negative, kasi negative yung isa. Pag magkaiba yung sign, magkaiba yung sagot. If you haven't seen my series on exponents yet, Panoorin nyo na muna yun kung naguguluhan pa kayo sa mga positive negative. I'll link it na lang here dito sa video na ito, either sa description or sa comment section. So, here you have 2 and positive 2 and negative, basically negative 1. So, na lang magkaiba sila ng sign, magiging negative siya, negative 2. And then you have 2 b's. So, ibig sabihin magiging b squared. Again, dyan pwede nyo ilagay, pwede nyo ilagay dito. Basically, pagsasamasamahin mo na ngayon sa lahat. Now, dahil positive itong 
18 AB. Ang mangyayari dyan would be, yung 9A squared mo, wala naman na siyang kapareho, so hindi na siya magbabago, dyan na siya. Ito, this is basically negative 1 AB plus 18 AB. So, ima-minus mo na lang yung 1 sa kanya. Kasi pag negative, ibig sabihin parang nangutang ka. So, imagine mo, may utang kang piso. Nagkaroon ka ng 18 pesos. Siyempre, babayaran mo yung utang mo, magiging 17 pesos na lang yung pera mo. Kasi meron ka pang utang na 1. Okay? Sa math kasi, priority ang utang, babayaran mo agad. Okay? So, this will be positive pa rin kasi may natira ka pa ng pera. Positive 17 AB. And then, this right here, again, pwede mo dyan ilagay, pwede mo dito sa ilalagay. Iba ilagay, dalim. So, that is minus 2B squared. Now, in other cases, what they do is basically arrange by yung kapangyarihan ng exponent. So, you, can, you may find it na nakasulat na ganito. Pareho lang yan. Okay? Ang importante is that the signs do not change. Yun ang kailangan yung tingnan. Kung positive 17AB, dapat positive 17AB rin ito. Kung negative 2B squared, negative 2B squared, yun yun. Magpalit man ng pwesto yan, pareho lang din yan ang sagot. Okay? So, I really hope you got something out of this video. If you like it, uh, share it, that would mean a lot. Uh, so, we can help even more people dito sa ginagawa ko na to na, uh, well, my passion, my calling, my advocacy. So, if you want to participate, if you want more free lessons, you can go to my YouTube channel. And uh, also, dun sa aking Facebook page, just like, like, team, like, uh, para ma-access ninyo yung iba pang mga free videos. So, thanks guys for watching. Never stop learning. Adja, adja, kaya niyan. I'll see you in my next video. And bye for now. Thank you.